Today we're gonna to be talking about vocal processing and one of the best kept secrets about how to process vocals. It's not a huge secret, but using a de can really go a long way. And I find a lot of people forget about it. So let's get into it. Hey everyone. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about secret trick to vocals to making them stand out, sound good. A lot of people miss this and that is using a de -esser. So a de is a tool that can help with sibilance and sibilance is like the S's in my vocals, just like that. Now, de don't completely remove them, they just tame them down and remove those unwanted frequencies that can be unpleasing to the ear. When you have frequencies like this, they can really make compressors react differently if they aren't tamed prior to running them through compression. They don't sound good, they're not gonna get good masters for vinyl. There's a lot of problems that can happen when you leave sibilance in your vocals. So before I get into some of the tricks, let's talk about what sibilance really is. Sibilance essentially is the harshness heard in vocals with the S's, the F's, and the sh sounds that people make. Now, sibilance can be amplified by various things like microphone types or preamp choices. And depending on the vocalist or the person themselves, they might have more sibilance than the other. So one good thing to try is just try different microphones, see what sounds good before deciding and committing to the recording. Capturing high frequency content in vocals is important to make sure the vocals sound good, but if you capture too much sibilance, you need to use a de to tame that down. Now you can use EQ, but it's going to take down the whole vocal, and a de if set properly, will just tame the sibilance perfectly and keep it at a nominal level because you don't want it completely gone. You're not trying to notch out the sibilance, you're just trying to tame the sibilance. If properly set, a de will only react at the moments that sibilance actually occurs. So let's talk about how to use a de -esser. Here I've got an Ableton session loaded up that I just loaded up the vocal from the new Freshco Bar and Golden Girl track Missing, which is new as I'm recording this, but won't be that new when you see this. And it's charting all over right now, it's, it's doing great for us, so I wanted to share with you the mixed vocal stem that we're probably going to be using a remix contest for. And you can see that this is nice and tame, but here's the lead vocal. Now I didn't put in all the layers here, but I just want to show you. You can hear some sibilance right here. And this is one of the most common things that beginners overlook is fixing things like that. So, like the deserts miss the rain and okay, here I've got an Ableton de -esser and it's very basic. It's got all the basic controls. You've got, you've got different view types that you can look at it like. This is a more common view type. This might be the easiest for you. You can see here that this is a newer view type. This is the old school style. You can see the threshold, the gain reduction, and the out. So let's play around with this. Right now the ratio is set to 4 to 1 and the attack is set at 1 millisecond, release is 30. You could turn this on an auto release. Like the deserts miss the but you see right here, like the deserts miss the rain and I miss you home. Like the deserts miss the rain. Like the deserts miss the rain. Like the deserts miss the rain. So we're going. Miss the 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 miss miss the 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 let's bring this threshold down miss the 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 and you can see it's affecting the whole signal a little bit i'm not super keen on that i'm going to bring the ratio down So sibilance usually occurs. You can see this little spike here. This is probably a sibilance point. Another common trick is to just go in and automate that stuff, but a de is a great way to catch that stuff. Let's go to one that I do commonly use, and this is the Fab Filter Pro DS. 
And the reason I like this one is because you also get this audition button where you can hear the inverse or the delta of what you're affecting. So they've got some great plug uh, presets. Let's go, and this is what I was talking about. You've got female split band, female wide band, male split band, male wide band. Now, wide band is gonna sound more musical. It's gonna affect the whole frequency spectrum. And the thing is, is that's essentially probably what the Ableton de is doing. I'm not super keen on using the Ableton de just haven't done it a lot in my past. But if you wanted to go with a more surgical approach, you could use the split band, where it splits it into bands and tries to get precise with the de -essing. If you're not careful, this can sound very unnatural. So let's start with the wide band, female wide band. And you see how it just caught that right there. And you can see the parts that it's catching. And you can hear the de -er working. Let's go into the, the split band. So you can lower the threshold. This has a range control if you wanted to lower the range. So you can switch the bands here. You have sidechain options, oversampling. I'm not going to get into the details of the FabFilter Pro DS, but I want you to realize how much this can make your vocals sound so much better. Now, one of the last things I'd like to mention, if you're not careful with using the wideband and you do too much, you can get a lot of pumping. Let's make that happen. You hear that pump effect right there, which is kind of like overusing a compressor. So be careful, don't overuse this stuff. Just be cautious when you're doing what you're doing. So this is a basic overview of DSing and how you can use it to enhance your vocals. I find a lot of people kind of miss this small step and it's very important if you want to get clean vocals because sibilance can be very annoying, especially after you master the track and you get the volume really loud. Those S's and those spikes, those sibilant spikes can pop out and really hurt the listener's ear and it's it's unpleasant and if it's unpleasant to the ear the listener will get ear fatigue and they won't want to listen to your music so this is a very important trick that i think you should take a look at when processing your vocals thank you for watching this video on dsing if you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and the bell notification will keep you up to date and if you have any further questions about dsing shoot me a comment down below my name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering, and if you need help with your mastering, be sure to check the link down below for a free Stereo Mastered Sample Inquiry. Once again, my name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering, and have a great day.